The 2020 Social Media Week is on, and Plus TV Africa's German partner Dutchwell is taking part at the one week event. DW launches the second season of the Afrocentric series African Roots, an initiative of DW and Visual Collab of the Comic Republic. Joining me live in the studio to discuss this is Klaus Tucker, the head of Africa Department at DW. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Why exactly did you choose to partner with the Lagos Social Media Week on this? Yeah, uh, you know, Lagos is a very vibrant um, city, of course, one of the most dynamic places on the continent. And then, of course, with, a, with that um, occasion, the Social Media Week, uh, with a, which is targeting and bringing together the young social media users, it was a natural choice, I think, so to get here. It's quite a leap from uh, last season when you had 25 um, African roots uh, portrait. It's now 50. Tell us your plan for this. Yeah, no, we have uh, introduced the first uh, series, like like you said, and then we're now able to extend it to, uh, to 50. So we're still in a process of production. So we only have like 30 ready yet, but we're in the process. And uh, yeah, we just felt like it's still un incomplete, the picture, but we also have to look for sponsors. We have a foundation, a scientific academic uh, foundation who supports academic um, young scientists here across Africa and other places in the world. So we had to convince them to carry on with a beautiful project that was very well received in our uh, users. And then we, as usual, we do that in all our six African languages. We do that in Amharic, we do that in Kiswahili, in Hausa, we also do that in Portuguese and French. So we feel like 50 is a good number, but my dream is to extend it to 100 at least. Okay, we look forward to that. Uh, let's talk about another program of yours, and that's Africa on the Move. Um, what inspired that creation? You know, we always felt that uh, the news only cover, you know, one side of Africa. So we always felt like the picture is incomplete. So we need the whole picture. And, um, you know, I was a correspondent in Africa uh, for the national public broadcaster in Germany as well. So I was based in Johannesburg. I traveled a lot. Otherwise, uh, you know, I visited more than 30 countries in Africa. So during my reign as, as a correspondent. And I always felt like there's so much dynamic ongoing and it's not really reflected in, in our programming. So that was just the initial idea and then it led, you know, one step led to the next step. You had and then over a hundred episodes of that program. Mm -hmm. Is it still on? Actually, we had to cancel it, uh, but, uh, you know, not because we don't like the idea, but we developed another idea because uh, we came up with, uh, with a dialogue format called the 77% focusing particularly on use. And it was so successful. We started from scratch on social media in different languages, then we extended it to radio. And now we come up with a TV magazine because you will still have thought that positive stories, still portraits of role models, inspiring people, of young people across the continent. But we also combine that with that new brand, the 77% standing for the under 35s. So we already call them the 77 percenters. So it has become its own brand, its own dynamic. So we felt like we rather introduced them into that format, the new brand called the 77%. So uh, we continue, but under a different name. So, but I saw, Africa, Africa on the Move is still going Karen, strong. Yes, I'm plus to be Africa, yes. <laughs> and it even fits into your corporate colors. Yes, <laughs> so it, I do, it does. We watch it all the time. That's we, we hope that hear, you yeah. regzorate it again so we can yeah. enjoy all the good work. Uh, no, we we'll definitely is continue. May, may I ask why the focus on Africa mm -hmm. at this point by DW? I mean, we just found out that, uh, first of all, uh, this is the biggest audience we have. So we have uh, 63 million users weekly across all the platforms, TV, radio, online. So it is one of our biggest uh, markets in, in terms of business, when you will. But then, on the other hand, it's also our neighboring continent. And we also know uh, the unlocked uh, potential or still locked uh, potential of Africa. We know the dynamics. We know also the failures that we don't reflect the continent in, in a proper way. And uh, so we feel like this is, should be a focus. So we have two focus regions. It's Asia and Africa. Um, 
there's still a lot to do, and that's why the DW is really focusing its main policy on Africa.